Hey people, how's it going? Weird shit might go on. I keep getting, uh, or I got a s thing for my antivirus that you need to restart so it'll work. It's like, what the fuck's it been doing today? What's it been doing for the last week, two weeks, three months? And yes, I've restarted my computer within the last three months. I started it like, uh, four days ago. Restarted it. So, we're talking to Aaron Gend. The gods smile on us that you remain yet unharmed for your efforts. With luck, success shall soon follow. Yep. Aye. What would you have of me? You mentioned Callie. I did. That I mentioned her at all was by accident, my friend. I have been determined to avoid those memories for many years now. But what happened? Uh, I suppose one cannot leave the story unfinished. As you wish, then, my friend. Yay, story time! Callie is short for Kaliara. She was of elven blood, a woman of extraordinary beauty and adventuresome spirit. She ran the Guild of Thieves in Neverwinter when I first began my sentence. She was also the first task Lord Nasher sent me to. I was to see to her capture and to reduce the power of the Guild in the city. And I was eager enough to do so, though I did not know what I was up against. And you fell in love. Not at all. For quite some time, she and I were the most dire of foes. Kaliara stirred her entire guild against me, and assassins stalked my every step. And you fell in love. The thieves had been used to holding power in the city, and did not care to be dislodged. I used every trick I knew to no avail. And you fell in love. Finally, I chose to disguise myself and infiltrate her guild, determined to look upon my foe. End her life personally. And you fell in love. It took me a great deal of time to do so. Kaliara trusted few, and I had to work my way up in the ranks over time until I was able to enter her inner circle. And then you fell in love. She knew you were there the whole the whole time? Not at first, no. Not until I killed her. I wasn't expecting you to kill her. I I should have done it sooner. When I was first trusted enough to be alone in her presence. But I was too intrigued and foolish. And then you fell in love. She enthralled me. I found her soul so similar to my own. And we drew together immediately. Despite my misgivings, I gave in and allowed myself to love her. I knew it! I knew it would not last. I discovered her plan to kill Lord Nasher. And knew that the time had come to tell her who I was. It was my hope to dissuade her from her life. But you didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't think I could. She was not angry as I thought she would be. Merely disappointed as she drew her soul. Ooh. To strike her down was almost unthinkable. As we parried, I begged her to reconsider. To leave her life. To stay with me, and I would protect her from Lord Nasher's wrath. <laughs> I will not change for you, Aaron. Even as you would not change for me. Let it end here. Though tears blurred my eyes, upon those words I ran her through. She died moments later, as we exchanged one final kiss. That sucks, man! I'm sorry. Thank you. I have never told enough. Aside from fat ass Arabeth who's standing there and can't like go away and well, he's Dalen's cool, you can trust him. I am glad to have shared it with you. You are an intriguing woman yourself. I consider myself fortunate to have been assigned to you. Hey, I, monk is just a job title. It is not a lifestyle. I'm not celibate. I prefer celebrate. Huh? Perhaps in time we As good friends, would you, would you care at all for that? Hell yes, I'm down for the D. I am pleased. Of course, there is much else that needs to be done. Perhaps we can speak of this another time. All right. I shall await your return then. Be safe and Godspeed. He wants me. They all want me. 
But I will turn them down. Because that's just how I am. Come on. Thank you. Alright. So we had our journal update. Dalen's tail. I think I need to be level 10 before it... Uh, Yeah, I need to be level 10 to get Dalen to talk to me. So, uh, something I was going to do was... Poor Neva. By the entrance to the Charwood. Alright. So this way. For once. Making decisions that impact my life. Correct decisions. Get in. Alright, let's save. To at last. <sighs> so we need to find some standing stones. Probably found them. There. Okay, must be over there, because it's near the charwood, right? No, not those. Actual standing stones, an actual, um... Henge. You put your feet in there? Oh my god. Is, is that it? Excuse me, dear. My love. Have you seen the standing stones? No. Standing stones, they, they mean nothing to me. Well, we're here. God damn, why can't I just go over a bridge like a normal person? I am at the right spot, right? Right? <laughs> I'm not getting mixed up. I am looking for a henge, correct? This is a good place for a henge. Huh. Let's check the uh the journal. All right, according to the siblings, he's being held near some standing stones by the entrance to the charwood. Do I need to go to the charwood? This is the charwood, right? Okay. It's all gone very wrong.
Let's check around here. Okay. Go this way. Hello, Mr. Ox. Look at all those chickens. You can go. Okay. See, now it said entrance to the Charwood. It didn't say in Charwood. Oh, this is the chickens. Can we go over here? I'm confoozled. Seriously confoozled. This guy's probably gonna attack me. Ah, a worthy opponent! Greetings! I am Sturge the Baby Killer, recently escaped from hard time in Waterdeep. My four fellow prisoners and I are now among the most wanted criminals along the Sword Coast. Why the fuck would you just tell this to people? Why shouldn't I tell you? It's important you realize I'm not some simple farmer bumbling about a rotted old tree stump. I'm Sturge the Baby Killer. Well, you got a bounty on your head. You're correct, my friend. I'm one of the only living beings to escape Waterdeep's most secure prison. But before you do anything rash, please hear me out. Why? My good girl, the reason I have for everything, after all, isn't my death that you want, but rather proof of my death. If you read the bounties closely, my friend, you know you only need my tattooed ear. If you'd spare my life and listen to what I have to say, you'd be willing to cut my ear from my head and give it to you as proof. What? If that were not enough, I'd also be willing to tell you where to find some of my companions. They're as guilty as I and are worth the same reward. Come now, listen to what I have to say. Surely you've thought that there was more to it than this. Five inmates escaping Waterdeep's most in inescapable prison? Are you curious how we did it? All right, tell me. I can always kill you later. Glad to see that flicker of impatience in the air between yours. On the list. I found myself in prison, rather unfortunately. I wanted to get out so I can go back to doing what I do best, baby killing. I realized that escaping this water Davy in prison was said to be impossible, so I knew I would need some help. So you went to the other prisoners. Yes, aren't we a quick study? Someone woke up refreshed this day. So yes, I worked out a relationship with Zor, Delilah, Wyvern, and Yezgar. I knew they would all be interested in escaping, and none like the others had the talent to do so. What kind of talent? The only kind of talent. The kind that works together. Zor was a big brute. He could pull down gates or smash through doors. Delilah's poisons helped us incapacitate many of the guards within the prison. And Wyvern was able to call his animals to further our escape. He used them to deliver messages, create distractions, and even help us shake off the guards from our tail. It was very exciting. What did you contribute? Me? I helped put it all together. Mine were the brains that put the plan together and got us all working in unison. Well, me and Yeskar, but he's the figurehead. There to inspire loyalty. Nah. Oh, but it's been a success. No one ever escaped from that prison. We were the first. We made it out the door. We can get caught now after the fact, but it doesn't change anything. We escaped. You did this for notoriety? Now we play a game. You beat me at it, I cut off my ear and give it to you. Because that's all you really want. The bounty you'll get from my ear. The game we play is the oldest game of all. I will give you a word, and you must respond to it with another word that can defeat the original without being its opposite. If you win, I'll tell you where Delilah is and give you my valuable ear. If not, we settle this with blades. Can you give me an example? Well, I might say darkness. If you said light, you'd lose because that's the opposite. You could say candle, though, to which I would say wind. All right, I'll try this. I hope you're worthy of the challenge. Let's begin. Let's see. Let's start easy. My word is darkness. Shadow. No, shadow is part of the darkness, but it does not defeat it. Nah, I'll leave my l ring light on. Oh! Oh, he was attacked! That was it! We were, we're attacking now. For the Oath Guards! 
Oh, he's near death. <laughs> fucking bards. What a fucking dirtbag. I'm glad you're dead, baby killer. Wondrous gloves. Okay. Anything else in here? Loot bag, yes please. Booze! Oh, whoop. Anything else back here? Well, that was lucky. Whoa. Are you trapped? Yes. Alright, come here. Come around here. Alright. Stay put. I shall do as you ask. It just got dark. It's okay. I'm just gonna spring this trap. All right, let's fuck this up. I shall do as you ask. Better be something good in here. I'm always pissed when I break through, punch through a chest and there's like nothing in it. Yeah, just like a few gold pieces. We'll see. Cat's Grace? Alright, that's acceptable. Alright. So we were looking for the people from the charwood, or for the charwood. I don't think I'm in the right spot. This does not seem to be right. Well, let's go back. They're supposed to be at standing stones. Maybe they're not there at night? Near the entrance to Charwood. I'm not insane, am I? That's correct. Correct? Well, these aren't henges, but they're sanding stones. Well, I think that's going to be it. So I got to go look this up. And figure out, where the fuck are these jokers? So, I'll see you tomorrow when we'll try and find this kid or wherever these guys are that we're supposed to meet. I think we did okay. And I'll see you tomorrow. Leave a like if you like. Don't if you didn't. Bye.